Alright, so um, on Facebook I made a status saying like this and I'll give you a shout out in a video. So if you liked it, here's your shout out that you've been waiting for. Amber Albee, Leah Avery, Amanda McKeegan, Courtney Ross, Jennifer something, Alex something, Johnny Johnson, Mark Bratton, Shady Burke, Kayla Murphy, Joelle Smith, Marissa McKillian, uh, Isabella Rodriguez, Stacey Ostrander, Rosanna Lanza, Diana Van Leuven, Maria Linda. <laughs> oh, these are so hard. I feel like I'm on a game show. Like I'm going to win money if I say their names right. Alright, seriously. Maria Linda, Kaja, Kaja, Kaja Caldwell, Heidi Tyrell, and Chalice Brady. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I said your name wrong. It's probably because I never heard it. So, yeah, there's your shout out. <laughs> sorry. Hey everyone, so. I had this video requested for me ever since I started making YouTube videos and even before I had YouTube videos I've always been asked to how people respond to me wearing makeup and how I started wearing makeup and how my family reacted to it and everything so I'm finally getting around to making a video about it and this isn't a makeup video but it's definitely based on makeup so it fits right into my beauty channel. And um, if you have a problem with what I'm saying, then just don't watch the video. And this is more of a personal side of me than videos of me just throwing on makeup on my face. So <clears throat> you might like this a little better or you might not like it at all. So whatever. Alright, so I started wearing makeup about two years ago. Um, I didn't start wearing makeup until senior year of high school. I'm out of high school now. And um, I used to... I never thought that I would wear makeup, but I started seeing videos of people on YouTube wearing makeup, and there were guys, and then I started talking to guys in the gay community that actually wore makeup as well, and I used to be like, wow, that's a little weird, like, you're a guy and you're wearing makeup, like, that's so odd. I would never date a guy that wears makeup. And um, that's how I always was, like, unfortunately I was like that, and look at me now. <laughs> Um, so, anyway, I was with some friends one night, or a friend, yeah, a friend, and, um, I tried on bronzer. I didn't, never heard of bronzer before, I never knew it existed, and she had bronzer, and I wanted to try it. I was like, dang, I want to be tan, I'm gay, I can be tan, you know what I mean? So I tried it, and I loved it. I was like, holy hell, like, this is some good stuff. So I tried it, and I wore it a lot, <laughs> and um, it was like a bronzer, like a foam, and like you go like this in your hands and you rub it on your face, so it was like an orange bronzer foam stuff, and um, that's like the first thing I started doing, and then I stopped using that stuff because I realized I was really orange and it was not a good look for me, so then I used to use my mom's makeup. <laughs> Mom, if you see this video, I'm sorry. But, oh well, now look at me. You can take credit for my makeup if you want. <laughs> anyway, so I used to wear my mom's makeup. I would throw on some mascara. Not like my mascara now, obviously. Um, I used to throw on some concealer for under my eyes. And maybe throw on a lip gloss. And you would have never, you never knew that I wore makeup. And then I started wearing actual bronzer, like a powder bronzer, at my friend's house again. And she's like the the like main reason of why I am who I am today. So shout out to Holly. Um, anyway, so <laughs> I started putting on powdered bronzer, and I loved it. And then I would, on my spare time at home and stuff, when I wasn't going out or anything, I would want to take pictures for MySpace or Facebook. And, um, I think it was MySpace, but it doesn't matter. I used to take pictures all the time, and I used to break out once in a while, so I would always want to cover up my breakouts. So with my breakouts, I would throw on some concealer or some foundation, 
or cover up, whatever you want to call it. And I used to wear it for my videos. And then I realized I actually liked a little blush on my cheeks for my, not my videos, my pictures, sorry. I used to like a little blush on my face for my pictures and a little more mascara and a little color to my lips with some lipstick. And um, not many people noticed because I, I didn't wear makeup like I'm wearing now back then when I started. So I actually really liked it and I was like, dude, I'm going to start getting my own makeup. So I did. I started buying my own bronzer, my own mascara, which was Lash Blast. I remember that. That was like my first mascara, the orange one. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and then I would buy some, um, what else did I buy? Oh, I had my own cover up. Did I already mention that? I probably did. No, I said bronzer. So I had cover up, mascara, and, um, bronzer. Those were the three things I started using when I first started wearing makeup. And then... Um, 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 uh, I started wearing that to school, full face cover up, because like that was the word for a cover up, and um, some bronzer and uh, mascara, yeah, <laughs> and maybe some like lip gloss, and that's what I wore to school all the time. So like, people in school like could tell I wore makeup because my face was like fake looking, and like I used to carry around a compact in my um, pocket. And I still have the compact that I've ever first used. I don't use it no more, but I just keep it for memories, I think. And, um, or if I ever wanted to buy it again, so I knew which one I was buying. Um, so I would always, like, touch up in school. So, like, people knew I was wearing makeup, but, like, I was more secretive about it. I would be like, don't let them look at me. Like, I have to f touch up. So, like, that's what that was about. And then I stumbled across of... I stumbled across MAC Cosmetics. Um... I really loved the MAC Cosmetics. I loved, like, the, um, the way they would wear so much makeup and the way that they looked like dolls and they looked plastic and flawless, like, ugh, flawless. Like, throw up, dry heave, flawless. I loved it. I loved the blush. I loved the contouring. I loved the dark lips, the bright lips, lashes out to here. I loved it. So, I was like, you know what? If I love this, I'm gonna do it. So, I started shopping on a MAC Cosmetics. I bought a blush, vanilla pigment, which is a highlight, and um, a lipstick, Hue, which is a nude lipstick. Those were the first three things I bought from MAC, and that's when my collection of makeup started growing, and that's when people used to start noticing that I was wearing more makeup and more makeup and more Sorry guys, my camera passed away, Noah died, and I can't be bothered with charging it and then re-finishing um, where I left off, so I'm just going to use my webcam. Sorry. Anyway, so I'm gonna try to make this fast. Um, so yeah, I started wearing makeup the whole shebang. So, um, sorry, I get so distracted. Alright, <laughs> seriously. Serious. As for people making fun of me and looking at me and bullying me, I never really got that where I live. I live in New York, which is kind of bad sometimes, but like, I live in a little town, I think. Well, actually, it's not too little. I'm getting off topic. Alright. <laughs> so, people knew me in my school for other reasons prior to the makeup, because I wore Uggs, or like, I made YouTube videos, and stuff like that, so they knew who I was, so when I started wearing makeup, they were like, oh, there's another thing he's gonna do, you know what I mean? So I started wearing makeup, and I was fine. People treated me the same. I got compliments I was making new friends probably re like only friends because I wore makeup that's why I don't talk to them no more anyway um there would be occasionally like a couple guys that would call me a faggot in the hallway but like you kind of get over it <laughs> um to this day now that I wear so much makeup people I don't want to sound cocky, but people know who I am, so it's not like they're surprised by it. Um, sometimes I'll go into a store, and one time I went into a store, um, I was probably like getting gas with a friend or something, and the woman was like, do you work in a play? Are you like in a play? Because you have makeup on. Do you Are you in a play? And I was like, nope, this is me every day. <laughs> And she's like, oh my god, it's so good. You're so pretty. So it's like, nice, you know. 
Um, but I never really met somebody that goes, oh, well, you're wearing makeup. Only girls should wear makeup. So it's never been like that. Um, so, oh, and my family, my mom is great on it. She buys me makeup. I've never really bought myself makeup. I usually use her money. So <laughs> she's technically buying me makeup, and sometimes when she'll buy makeup, she'll buy me some. So my mom is good. Um, my brother's are good. I have one brother that doesn't want me wearing makeup around his kids, which is so effed up and sometimes like it gets bad because my brother is so homophobic. He, he'll say he's not, but he totally is. Um, so I don't talk to him. Fuck that. <laughs> um, I have a one aunt that used to tell me I wore too much and she would like tell me like she'll go through each and every one of my Facebook photos and say like you're wearing too much makeup there you have too much lip gloss on there whoa your mascara is too thick there it's really clumpy whoa you're gonna get raped one day because you give yourself too much attention with all that makeup she was that aunt tough love I guess and like fuck it I still was doing what I wanted to do anyway um then I had another aunt that was like, I want to do my makeup. Like, I have people in my family that are like, do you, do my makeup, please. Do my makeup. You look flawless. Like, you're so gorgeous. You make me sick to my stomach. So, family's good. Um, I just want to take this time to say thank you to the people that message me on Facebook, on YouTube, saying that, like, I inspire them. I'm their role model. Like, I'm just a 19-year-old boy just out of high school trying to make it big <laughs> so it's not like I'm, I'm shocked I'm shocked when I read these things I'm like totally flattered um I never would have thought that by me wearing makeup I would open so many doors for other people and so many other people would be inspired by it and like to me when I do my makeup now I'm not doing it just for me I'm doing it for the people that want to see me wearing it the people that want to wear it themselves but they're too scared so my advice to you is don't be scared. You need to do what makes you happy because at the end of the day, you're living for yourself. You don't live for those other people. You need to do what makes you happy because you're going to be regretting it. And like fears are stupid and so are regrets. So don't be fearful. Be strong. People are never going to always agree with you. But as long as you believe in yourself and agree with yourself, then that's all that matters. You need to be your best friend. You need to love yourself and support yourself through everything. And, like, you just can't hold back because you never know when you're going to die. You need to do what makes you happy now. And you need to wear that makeup if you want to wear that makeup, all right? People were, will push away out of your life if they don't agree with it. And you'll notice a lot more people coming in your life because they believe in you and they support you. So just do what you want to do, wear as much makeup as you want to wear. <laughs> you just need to do what makes you happy and if I'm somebody that makes you happy then thank you. I really appreciate the messages I get on Facebook and stuff so if it wasn't for those people, God knows what I'd be doing now. I'm sure I'd still be wearing makeup but I'm sure I'd be a lot of in really insecure. So I just want to say thank you, love you all and I hope you guys made it to the end of this video. <laughs> Bye. Alright, let's see how you turn this off. Because I've never used this webcam before. Oh, crap. Oh, found it. Bye.